Hey, everybody. We got some lo fi music going on today. We got some chill vibes. Vodka Sunrise. Y'all ready to build some minis? I set this lovely shot up. So y'all could see what I'd be working with today. Now I will say that this lens is not really made for this close up. So you have to forgive the intense depth of field effect. Well, let's dive right into it, yeah? I kind of set stuff up earlier just so that we'd get the boring parts out of the way and I didn't want to be clipping and snipping on stream and making all your ears bleed so yeah that's it let's do it all right so a lot of today's entertainment's gonna rely on the chat talking to me I got a little setup over here that I can see the chat All you gotta do is to chat with me while I'm building and everything will be cool. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but hey, now you get to see me over here. I'm going to be over in this corner. Hi. <laughs> All right. I will be back in a quick jiffy. I got my junkin shirt on, my junk overshirt, my junk jeans, just in case we get any plastic glue all over ourselves. All right. So I have the arms laid out here. Got the guys laid out here. Got them guys right here. Won't be needing these, they're just there for show. All right. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna make your ears bleed for a sec. We are going to put together the chests. So it's back. It's a front. It's a back. That's a back. That's a front. That's a back. And that's also a back. Let's put the backs over there. The front's right here. I already got my heads picked out. I'll put them right there for now. Alrighty. Some glue on the front, take it back. And 
put it on the right way, you know? We're gonna open up some of this. Here, Tamiya, extra thin cement. So we're gonna use that to go in and fill all these gaps. And when those gaps are filled, they will look a lot more flush and require a lot less cleaning to make look nice. And then later when everything dries there, we'll go over it with our handy a -da -da dandy uh, mold line remover. Huh. All right, on to the next one. Go in. Put to put on to glue. Oh, you're gonna have to forgive me. I got ads going on that Spotify there. That's because uh, <laughs> I don't have access to a DMCA free library. I have music that I have subscribed to, like a music service. Um, for, for like video production and I understand how the licensing works for that for like videos I don't know how the licensing for that stuff works for like streaming necessarily you know so we want to just kind of talk over the ads until the lo-fi DMCA free music comes back on Spotify <laughs> All right, sounds like music's back. That's good. Another chest down. We're just going to keep building these chests. That's what we're doing right now. Putting a little bit of plastic glue. We're using plastic glue because we want to make these two pieces one whole piece and plastic glue is perfect for that it is literally cement it melts that melts that plastic right down so you can put things together and they will literally become one item this plastic melts together it's excellent stuff this Tamiya Ultra Thin is amazing for small things and for trying to avoid overuse of cement because it's thinner. Um, and the plastic glue from Citadel is it's a, it's a thicker um, substance, but it uh, it tends to melt a lot more than the thin. Uh, so it's definitely like a stronger substance and you need to be careful with that so that's why I do the delicate work with the cement that's thin and I do the you know rough let's just get it two pieces together and make those one with the more intense glue so here we go we're gonna put more glue on we're gonna put glue on this side and the reason i'm putting glue on this side and not the other side this side has the little divots in it it does not have the the burrs that go in the divots it just has the divots and there we go now we go for our thin getting it in there Getting it in there. I do recommend that every hobbyist own a bottle of Tamiya Ultra Thin or Extra Thin. It is a very, very, very useful glue. So that's four out of five. We're almost done with the chest pieces, huh? Here we go. So I have a natural, tr well it's not, I don't know if it's natural or if it's from certain medications I'm on or something, but I have a little bit of a tremor. 
So painting and model assembly are actually more of a challenge than you'd think. Uh, so that's why I always say, if I can do it, if I can paint these minis to the standard that I am capable of painting them, if I am capable of putting together these minis to the standard that they are put together, if I can do those things, then you can. Painting minis is not hard. It's a little complicated, but it's not hard. And assembling minis, same thing. It's not hard, it can be a little complicated, but it's not hard. Okay. Now, we are to affix these chests to each leg. I see my chat's dead. Can I get some can I get some love in the chat? Just a little bit of love in the chat. A hello. Uh I like what you're doing. Uh the image you set up for us to look at looks amazing because you're a cinematographer and you did a well, you know, trained job there. I don't know, something. <laughs> I'm begging. Okay. Now, we're going to use the Citadel glue on the bottom here because we want these chest pieces to really be bound to these legs. And this is, this is kind of the result we're looking for. Now, the thing I like, but is also a challenge with the cement is that it takes a little bit longer to dry but you can maneuver what you need to position into position a lot better because you have time that super glue itself does not generally allow for Just a little dab will do us with this uh, with this citadel cement because it's it's really it's really you know there's still a lot of um, Tamiya extra thin kind of taking up real estate in this area so you still have still have the ability to. Just use a little bit less glue because there's already some there. You really do not want to overdo it with, with cement. You know, overdoing it with super glue is one thing. You know, you can really make a mess of things. But uh, with with cement, you can actually quite destroy your, your minis if you're not careful. So that's why I'm just warning anybody who is going to be hobbying to be careful with the cement. Don't overuse your cement. A little dabble do ya. That's for true. And these guys are looking real nice already. I can already see that this is gonna be fun. You know, like, I, I painted a lot of firstborn marines in my time. Uh, Vanguard vets are going to be a new experience for me. Uh, it's a lot of little details, a lot of a lot of fun. I I, I, I kind of recommend buying the kit at least if you have space marines for Vanguard vets, as there are a lot of beneficial bits to it. However, it only gave me four storm shields in the kit, and I need five. So what I did was uh, this morning like way early this morning, I um, went and got a Terminator shield from my basement <laughs> where I have all my other mini stuff. And I cut out a hand 
that was on one of the sprues. And I filed down the old hand that was on the Terminator Storm Shield and replaced it with that other hand. So that way I have five Storm Shields and it also let me put it on a different hand. So they'll be holding the Storm Shield with their right hand and have Storm Claws in their left, which will vary the models a little bit because all the other models are left hand Storm Claws, right hand shield, or left hand uh, Rune Blade, right hand shield, or vice versa, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just realized it's vice versa. Okay. A little damaged. A little damaged. Yeah, I know you can't really see with my hands because they're chunky. But I'm trying to show you in the background that I'm putting them together like this. And you know, the thing I like about Firstborn Marines is you're able to kind of position the chest how you want it. If you want it to make it look like they're, so like this one, for instance, and, and the one next to it are both, you know, kind of leaning into whatever they're dealing with. They're, they're, they're definitely facing that direction. Uh, and you can kind of make a more dynamic pose of yourself. And, and that's one that's one argument for Firstborn. However, I do really like the poses, you know, that they have now. So it's it's kind of a crapshoot. It's it's a uh, either is good. I prefer the true scale Marines, but I need these Vanguard vets. I need these Vanguard vets for a list. I don't really care for vanguard vets because they replace so many flavorful units um but i like vanguard vets in the sense that they're going to give me a little more utility in my game and they are going to allow me to have a jump pack force that is not sanguinary guard or death company uh, so they can do a little bit more than what i'm expecting of them I'm not blowing them up. Don't say that. Oh my God, they're so precious to me. Okay. So now we have fixed the heads. Just a little dab. We drop said head into it. And you know, when you're put when you put the heads in, make sure you position them to have some sort of dynamic pose like they're looking in the direction that their body is facing or try to imagine that, uh, how they're acting in this exact moment when they were frozen as a model what's coming at them what are they dealing with and these are all things that you got to think of when you're painting them when you're putting them together you want them to look like they are naturally on a battlefield and not just slapped together and made because it's it's quick and easy kind of thing you know like you really want to take your time with your poses and and make sure that they're that they're going to be realistic and they're going to be red on the table it, it adds that extra little bit of dimension to your minis for sure so i made this guy looking up because what's going on? Well, he's about to jump. He's about to use his jump pack. And he's going to look at the skies above him to make sure it's clear. You know? And this guy, he's he's getting hit from the side. So he's going to get ready to take that hit or dodge it. You know? Kind of thing. That's, that's what you got to be thinking. Like, what is this model doing? And these are questions you don't really have to ask when you're doing... Primaris, because the Primaris are already posed, but with Firstborn, you, you, you got it. You got to really sit there and be like, okay, well, what are they up to? What's going on? This guy is just going straight ahead. He is just fully determined on what's going on in front of him. Now, I love this kind of beaky head.
the kind where it's not a full beaky, but it's kind of beaky. It's one of my favorites. Generally, if they're taking off with their left foot and their right foot is up, that means they're going to probably be looking to their left. You know? So, we want to try and mimic that when we when we do that. Just a little, a little look to the left. We don't want anything severe because that's going to make it hard to paint. And it's going to look weird too. You want to make sure also that they are all looking forward and not down. And that's one of the things about these bodies that are taking off in flight like this is that I'm just going to let them dry for a couple seconds before a couple, like maybe a minute or two before I get back to them because um, I don't want my head poses to get moved in any way i want them to set so that they're nice and clean and then we'll go in and we'll add some arms um and then some shoulder pads but i remember i had um del rolled here and he saw this sword, and uh, it's a pretty cool looking sword. It's a pretty cool looking sword. Uh, let's see if I can focus that. You probably can't see what's written on it. It says Imperialis. So it turns out that. Um, I wasn't running full lightning claws in this group. I'm actually running some, uh, the sergeant has a, rune, a relic blade. So I, I'm gonna use that sword. It's gonna be cool. I'm a little nervous about doing the storm shields on stream because those generally require me to really focus to get these arms attached. But um, we'll give it a shot regardless. I'm just waiting a couple minutes, like I said, and then I'm going to get started again. We'll listen to some of this nice. Ooh, well, no, never mind. There's an ad. <laughs> there's an ad going on, and I don't want you to listen to it. Please just be there. For me, scatting for ads. I am Donna. No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't, 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 don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. It's just an ad. <laughs> My business? I don't have any business. What are you talking about? Your voice can reach as broad or as narrow of an audience as you need. And connect with them where visual media can't. This guy sucks at reading scripts. I'm not saying I could do better. I'm just saying he's probably the wrong choice. Alright, we're back to the music. So we're just going to kind of listen to this for a little bit and kind of chill out, you know? Put you over where the music's at.
Okay, let's try and glue some arms together. Oh no, I got the wrong arms. Ah, oh, crap. God damn it. Well, I goofed. I got the wrong arm set out. Oh no. Means I am gonna have to kill your ears by clipping some stuff.
Yeah, it's tough when you accidentally mess some bits up and you pick out the wrong arms. Oh no, I dropped it. They're the same color as the carpet. <laughs> okay, I found it. Such mediocrity was not my intention. I'll start with the challenging one just to see where it's at. This looks like it's going to be an across the chest kind of arm. So we add a little bit of the cement to each side. You don't just put it on one side, you gotta add it to both. And that's to get the chemical reaction in the adhesive to start working and melting both sides. That way when they come together, they will form a better bond. Is the music too loud, too quiet? Is it chill? Is it lo-fi like they advertised? I'm not in charge of it. I just, you know, it's the first thing I saw that was DMCA free on, on Spotify there. So it's like, all right, let me turn it on. I'm kind of vibing with it, to be honest with you. It's feeling pretty good. So. This one I'm adding a little bit of extra to because there's a bit of a burr left that I don't think I can get off without like a knife or something a little more severe. So I'm just kind of hoping to melt that burr down. Oh, because of that bird, this one's being challenging.
All right, I think I got it. Oh, I have to get an arm for that too. I can find one. That's fine. First one, yeah. Right. Now these definitely have to sit for a bit before we start messing with them again. They really need to start curing and getting much, you know. We want it to turn into one piece before we start putting it onto the main model. Because if we try it now, likely to lose the shield or something to that effect. Make a mess, common to make a mess. Now I'm looking for a good arm for that relic blade there. You know what, we'll do a running pose with the relic blade. the groove. So we're going to have to hold the sword in place for a little while while it cures just a bit. And they start to cement together. Just like that. Just like that. No trouble putting it back down without it falling apart on me. All right, there you go. Cool. So all the weapons and stuff are together, but we gotta really take it easy for the next couple minutes. So we're gonna go back to the computer. We're just gonna hold on that shot there and. I'm gonna come talk to you. How's everybody doing today? I hope everything's going well. And that everybody's gonna have a very pleasant and productive day. I know I'm gonna try. Some days it's hard to be productive. Some days it's hard to be pleasant. But, you know, at least try. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Not currently on fire. Well, that's always a good qualifier. Yeah, pleasant or productive. Yeah, sometimes it does feel like that. Like there's a, there's a Sophie's Choice there. But I, I promise you that... You can have a pleasant and productive time at the same time if you're doing what you like doing. Um, trying to talk over the ad here. Hold on, I got a text. Blah, 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 blah. 
Yeah, I strongly feel if you're doing something that you like doing, then you can be having a pleasant and productive time. I've, I've done it. This is, but it's not, it's not easy to come by. Amazon. Amazing.com slash pun, is that what you're trying to say? Or American? No, I don't know what you're trying to say there, man. <laughs> All I know is I'm vibing with this music, and I am getting ready to put those arms on the bodies. I just need a couple more minutes to let them cure. And welcome new viewers! So we got three of you. I'd love to see you in the chat. Which is supposed to be showing up over in the corner, to be honest with you, but it's not. Oh. <laughs> see, I wasn't even listening to the ad, to be honest with you. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's see how we're doing. Well, at least we can start by putting the lightning claws on. So let's go do that now. Transition. All right. So I want this gentleman with the spiky helmet to be the sergeant. So I'm actually gonna save him for that sword. As for the rest of them, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna start putting the lightning claws on each and every one of them while I wait for the other stuff to completely cure. Now it's actually a pretty decent idea to let your cement activate before you start to put the two pieces together. That's definitely a by the side pose. So shield will be a little more out in front. Unless we want to try and make this side a little more out. Yeah, let's do this side out so that it's more like the cross, you know, how you, you cross when you run. So if your right arm is out, your left leg's going to be to the rear. Okay? So you're always going to be running cross. So you definitely want to keep that in mind when you're putting your stuff together. Okay, now this one's going to go across the chest. And that's perfect, because if you see, the model is running in the opposite direction. So if, it's, if this claw is supposed to be out like it is, then we, we have a good pose.
a good natural pose. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but these uh, these lightning claws look an awful lot longer than they should be for the size of the model. But that's the issue with Firstborn. There is the scaling is all off. Now this one's a, a deep across the body. You can have him kind of lunging at something. He's about to strike. Excellent. All right. So this pose is going to be pretty, pretty neat. I believe this is another across the body one, but because we've got, like I was saying, that left leg movement, we're just gonna kind of put it a little more down to his side. Hey, thanks for the follow. Brownius Maximus followed me, what? So now we have this guy kind of walking at you like, I'm going to fuck you up. Okay. Now for the other side, but because I didn't really give much time for the arms I just put on to cure, I got to be pretty careful. I'll just hold it here a couple seconds longer. So he's like looking at it. So I have time to kind of adjust the head a little bit still because that glue is not completely solid. So that way now he's really looking at what he's trying to block with his shield. I am building Vanguard veterans, my friend. I'm building Vanguard veterans. You know, the ones I don't like. <laughs> I love the models. I love the kit um, that they come in. I don't like that they are continuously still like replacing very, very key flavor models. All right, now, so you see how I kind of pose it so this guy has his shield down to his side like that? Yeah, that's, that's a good pose. They will make a fine addition to the Broods trophy collection. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure they will. Your, your, your little... 
dudes may be the newest army in the game, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to destroy them. Those gene stealers, man. I don't know. This might not work for this one. No. Okay. So shield's not going to work for this guy. It will work for this guy. This shield will work for this guy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. See, sometimes the original layout that you put together does not always work so you gotta kind of adapt it's like oh I was thinking this model could have this on it nope not gonna work I think I think Steve and I should do a black Templar. Now remember I said I was going to make a running pose with that sword that the black Templar and the blood angels should go up against the Tyranids and the gene stealers. So a, t a team a 2v2. A me is that a melee? Now, the best, one of the better parts about, you know, Space Marines is that if their arm looks kind of funny when you with what you're doing, it's okay. Cuz you're going to you're going to cover that up with a shoulder bad in a minute. So I was not entirely happy with the shoulder pads that came in the kit. Um they're all very much like elite unit focused which is fine because that's exactly what's going on here uh so this guy looks like he's in just completed a shield bash and is about to lunge in with the sword and there you go. Now we got to let him cure for a little bit because we're going to be touching those shoulders again with the shoulder pads. And we want to make sure that it's all solid before we go and do that. These little cups I use to sort. Yeah, it just helps keep things organized so that you don't misplace anything and believe it or not I put um, for now before I can get them into my proper bit box they are in this condom holder <laughs> I have several of these they came with the condoms I used to order and uh, they're, they're great for just everything you can put little things in there you can put condoms in there whatever you want but yeah close up Ten. You can fit like five condoms in there.
the filthy Xenos, and the mutant. Oh, and they're heretics, because they praise the many-armed gods and not the emperor. Nobody said anything about the Inquisition. That's Blank Templars, baby. They are more zealous than the Inquisition. Probably just as zealous as the sisters. But the sisters don't like them because they don't like space marines. <laughs> totally. They totally stay on. You know how hard they are to get off? I mean, they gotta, they gotta weigh a ton. There's a lot of waiting in this hobby. Big bag of cough drops, something to get my mouth to do. We're good 30 seconds behind stream. Sisters can't pull out. Oh, the chat is showing up. It's just not showing up in my overlay. Hold on. And it's not staying. I gotta fix the, the stuff for that, but yeah. Sex with the Space Marine. When they come, they split you right in half. Never pull out, never surrender. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> oh man, now I get to watch me laugh on stream. There we go. So what do you think of this setup, guys? Like the the camera angle, everything. You know, with the with the other cam kind of looking at me at the sideways and all that. You think it looks good? I did work pretty hard on this setup actually. It's, it was a pain in the ass. No, dude, it totally is. There's like a, there's like a gun on the bottom of it. You pick the chair up, and you're just like. Bap, 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 bap. Perhaps if it was made of concrete, concrete is more comfortable. Yo, which side do the uh, chapter um, chapter symbols go on? Left, right? Left, correct? Oh, 
Rold was uh, quoting that uh, that episode of TTS where they get Hellebrecht. <sighs> That's one of my favorites. Right? God damn it. God damn it. Hold on. Now I gotta go downstairs and look at my codex. Give me a second. Or actually, maybe there's a picture here. So if you're looking at a model straight on, it is their right. But it's technically their left arm that the chapter symbol goes on. No, it's not. It's right for it's right for the person who's putting it together. It's 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 left. made me doubt myself. It's totally the left. <laughs> nah, that's right. Oh no, I have uh, pauldrons that have the symbol on it as well. Um, I got those in the upgrade kit, so that's what I'm using with these guys. That's why I asked. And then it seems like they're... Shut up, Steve. Is the music too loud, too quiet, just right? I figured I'd add music because otherwise there would be just long periods of silence. Putting this pauldron on this particular guy and shoulder, not because he's the sergeant, although I may not be able to. There we go. Um, but because otherwise, on most of the other poses, the big 
jutting thing here will end up uh, making the jump pack not fit right. It's the same with this guy. He's got a good pose for an arm that is, or for a pauldron that is potentially could jut into the jetpack. So this way we, we circumvent that. Pauldrons really make the, the arms look less goofy. That's for sure. All right, turns out I need two more pauldrons. You big meaty claws. It's such big claws. Oh my god. Can be. I think this pauldron's pretty rad, so I'm gonna put it on. It's gonna be a pain to paint, but um, challenge accepted. this guy And there you go. They be mostly done. They just need their jump packs, which is set uh, it's still on the sprue. I, I'm not ready to put that on yet because they need to be primed and painted before I bother really with that. So uh, looks like we're done with what we were trying to do today with these guys. So we might pop back into Final Fantasy in a little bit just to play out that last hour that I have committed to doing this. <laughs> well, 
Also, there's a brand on Amazon that does really good super glues, and they're called Starbond. Which I highly recommend picking up some of their thin and thick. And definitely make sure you get yourself some Instaset to make that. It's a it's a CA glue accelerant, so it dries like wicked quick. Uh, make sure you get that. The horror! JRPGs! It's an MMORPG first, JRPG. Yes, <laughs> I was gonna say second, but also first. If you've ever thought about working at Amazon, it's uh, is the perfect time. it's a lot of fun. I I, I highly I highly recommend it. No matter where you're at in the job market, you can select from a variety of available roles. There's so many different reasons to play it. Like you like doing the end game rating stuff. Final Fantasy's got something for you. You like doing role-playing stuff? Final Fantasy's got something for you. You like doing erotic role-playing stuff? It's definitely got something for you. Um, you know, like, it's... It's 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 very broad in the scope of what you can do in that game. And it's very expressive in what it gives you in terms of emotes and facial expressions. So, I don't know, it's, it's really fun. Plus, the story can be stupid anime. Ow. Even worse. You're a douche. So, I just need to assemble the Blade Guard veterans, and I have my 2,000 point army assembled. Assembled. That doesn't mean painted. It's about half painted. But it's assembled. And the list is a Smash Captain, Mephiston, Sanguinary Priest, two Incursor Squads, an Intercessor Squad, Blade Guard Vets, uh, Vanguard Vets, uh, Death Company, ten of them, ten Death Company, that will be split into five and five when they hit the board. So that's five Thunder Hammer Death Company and five Chainsword Pistol Death Company. Uh, four Sanguinary Guard to accompany Mephiston and the Sang Priest. Um, a Redemptor Dreadnought and an Impulsor to carry the Blade Guard, the Six Blade Guard, across the field. That's 2,000 points. Yeah, you need to get into into battle scribe and, and and mess around, see what's going on there. Oh, I know your guard is ready. You got all them tanks.
Peyton ready to die. I love it. <laughs>